Anyways, now that all that's out of the way, all this crap out in the ocean here, we can actually head to the island. Well, actually, that's not entirely true, because we got to get the merman first. But, uh... We're getting close to being able to head to the island. Oh, actually, I also want to stop at Beetle's because if you remember right on Beetle's shop chart, he uh, he sells some unique stuff here. Because this is one with like the golden helmet. Oh, there's the fish over there, like, directly against the wind. Are you here? Oh my god, have to be the most bitchy fish. I'm contemplating just even changing the direction of the wind, but uh, I guess the zigzag thing kind of works too. Like a zigzag Xander, I tell you. All right, we're almost there. Come on, just push it, push it a little more. Push it real good. Do 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 do. Okay, what do you got for me now, buddy? I mean, I know what you got. This is Rock Spire Island, and I believe the chart for it is quite phallic. But uh, I guess we'll just leave that at that for now. A little bit. I don't know. Pretty cool island, actually. I think there might be a blue choo choo on it, too. I wonder how long it's been since the, the, the light on Windfall's lighthouse went dark. It was quite a grand sight, I tell you. The way that ray of light shone out of the sh like a shaft of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with dear Jillian. Like, Jill. Well, I didn't know he had, like, a girl fish. Anyway, I bet if someone could shoot a powerful spark in the top of that lighthouse, it would light it up again. Of course, that's just my intuition talking. <laughs> Is that your froggy sense or your pinky keen or something? I don't know. I just made like two different references all at once there. Referencing Mother 3 and My Little Pony all in the same sentence. That's, who would have ever thought that possible? Okay, um. Yeah, I gotta catch up with Beetle here. You can tell that this guy's shop is different because he has these purple curtains on his thing instead of boldly displaying his face along the side of the ship. And we'll walk in here, and you can see, I think we actually got mail about this before, that he has some really good stuff here. Oh, for a fine welcome to you, young person that I've never seen before. You're so lucky to meet me at this time. This shop will close in just seven more days. I, I'm having a clearance sale. That's not actually true, but, uh... Like, I guess it kind of will close in seven days. 950 rupees? Chump change for a heart piece. Booyah, man! Heart container, even. Oh, yeah, so he, like, he, like, will close in seven days, or still, like, threaten to or something, but, uh, he won't actually, it'll be fine. Empty bottle. Alright, I won't have enough for this, because this is 900 rupees, and I hope that that yields a heart piece when you dig up the treasure instead of a silver rupee. I should have enough for this, though. Perfect. That's, like, three empty bottles now, right? Uh, where do I even get the fourth empty bottle? I'm trying to think, actually. Unless that is a fo all four. No, that's not. I'm sure I'll find it along the way somewhere. Anyways, uh, now that all this nonsense is out of the way. Actually, no, it's not all of the way. We still have to stay on our boat for a little bit longer here because I want to do this. Okay, because you can see that if we go up there right now, these rocks will be blocking our path. So what you actually want to do is, um... You want to shoot out these rocks from down here. You can actually, like, uh... Do the thing where you throw the where you throw the rock with good timing as you're up there, and you can destroy them. But I just think this is personally more fun and also kind of more accurate. I wonder if I can hit that little one that little one from here. Cause I think there might be something kind of decent under that under that. A little bit higher. Oh, there we go. Sweet. That actually might be where a blue chew jelly is or something. We shall see. Did it drop something over here? Oh, oh, it's a red ruby. I think that's what. Pff, I think that's actually what dropped out of that rock that I shot. It was supposed to be a red ruby. That's your reward, but oh well, I balls that one up, I guess. And now we should just have a clear shot to the cave at the back, at the back of the island, at the back of the island. Meow, meow, meow. All you know. <laughs> sometimes it's really fun to pronounce like vowels that way with just the super accent on them. Right, I'm just gonna drop down here really quick to. See if there is. There is not a blue chew jelly here. Or else he's really well hidden. It's an invisible chew jelly! Oh my god! What? what? Aww. I don't know what my obsession is with those blue chew jellies anyways. Like, I guess it's just more for, like, a completion purpose. Just to kind of show where they are. Because, like, once you get enough of that... Oh, fuck! <laughs> like I was saying, if you get enough blue chew jellies, I think, like, 15, all it does is let you buy a blue, po blue potion from, like, a Doc Van Dam's shop. 
on Windfall, so it's not even really worth it to do that, but I guess it's, it's just kind of a cool thing. What is this about? Can't see anything, man. Well, I can't picture anything. It's too dark. Alright, you get over here, you stick, because I gotta light something on fire, apparently. Okay, and I can't imagine that this is gonna yield too much good because, uh, yeah, this cave was too easy. That's what I thought, man. Alright, you guys suck. Alright, I'm just gonna go kamikaze. If you get down on my level, oh my god. They're, like, just hovering slightly above my head, and it's getting really annoying. I kind of just feel like if they were on the ground, like, if these were ground-bound enemies, I would probably, uh, just throw a bomb in the middle of them and just watch it screw them all up. Or, like, walk into the middle with the bomb mask on and do the same thing. That'd be even more fun. Because you'd be at the epicenter of the whole pandemic. And you just get to hear all their shrieks as they painfully fly through the air after the explosion. Alright, there's more keys around here. Otherwise, I would have gotten a treasure by now. Here we go. Oh my god, there's a lot more keys. I didn't... Crap. You and your golden rod eyes. Yeah, you guys are no big deal, though. Oh man, this one dropped an orb. So that one back there, apparently. Cool. Yeah, forget that treasure. I want the orbs, man. Orbit, orbit, orbit. <laughs> Has anyone ever, like, seen that, like, old, like, commercial for orbits or something? I don't know. It's like this weird system of, like, tokens or something. I think it was actually, like, credits online that you would go on a website, and if you, like, amassed enough of them, then you'd, like, win a vacation or something. And I, like, saw a commercial for that when I was a kid, and, uh... And I, I don't know, I like to imagine that orbits were, like, these little, like, collectible things. And, like, I don't know, it was, it was so weird. Like, they were these imaginary tokens that I made up. And, like, I would just, like, try to collect as many as I, as I could. I don't even remember how I collected them. I think I collected them by, like, doing good deeds for people. And every time, I like, I did, a, like, a good deed for someone, just, like, a little simple thing, I would get a... Hold on, I just gotta check my thing really quick here. Uh, next up is Windfall Island, actually, so we're gonna head there. Yeah, but if I did, like, a really sort of, like, small in good deed for someone, I would get, like, ten orbits. And if I did, like, a like a reasonably good deed for someone, then I would get, like, a hundred of them. And if I did something, like, really super awesome for them, I would get, like, a thousand of them. And I don't know, it's just this weird little system I had in my mind. I never told anyone. Until now, obviously, and so now I just told like 3,000 people at once. Or depending on how many people actually watch this video. Mm. I don't know, I think I managed to amass like 40,000 of them in my mind, so that was kind of cool. Anyways, enough of that crap, uh. I'll meet you at Windfall. Okay, so we're uh, docking on the beach here. Nice little beautiful day. On windfall. It's your garden variety today. I wonder if I can show this off, actually. I wasn't planning on it. I was only planning on doing one thing on windfall, actually, but I want to talk to this guy, see if he's got a... Let's see. Financial advice. Um... I want to talk to you about the money, dude. Actually, I think if you show this guy skull necklaces, he might do something. No? Maybe I wasn't close enough to him. Let me try this. Here, yeah. Let's see about this. Oh, chum, that's a skull necklace. I collect these things. But how do you know that? I can sell these for huge profits at, anti at antique stores, which reminds me, there's something I want to talk to you about, chum. Could you give me three of these? If you do, I'll let you play a really fun game. Oh, well, that's how you do that. Okay, sure. I've got nine, so... Happy to lose a third for you. Let's see. All right, then. Now I'll let you play my little game. It's called Piggy Sitting. <laughs> oh, boy. That sounds either really kinky or really something. Let's see. Two minutes to bring back all those pigs, no problem. If you do a good job, I'll pay you for your trouble. Are you ready, chum? Uh, sure, I guess. Alright, bring him. Uh, what is he doing? Oh my god. Go! Alright, sweet. We should know where these pigs are. We've done this. Well, we've been on, around this island long enough, so sneak up on the pig really quick. Yeah, like I said before, or I probably mentioned this a long time ago, but cr but sneaking up, sneaking up on the pigs by crawling like that is probably pretty good. Or right, I think I want to drop this guy here. Yep, 141 left. No big deal. I feel like I'm doing like a daredevil run or something. Well, not a daredevil run, but like a speed run comment. Alright, you. 
that first pig was stinky or something. He was like emitting like orange puffs of smoke. It was really weird. All right, yeah. The second one shows up. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And the last one should be way up here near Tot. Yep, there he is. Maybe he misses Tingle. I don't know. He's kind of hanging outside this jail, lamenting the past. Here we go, though. Here we YOLO. And... Hoof it, hoof it, Link, hoof it. <laughs> I love how the pig is just totally stationary, not struggling at all. Dude, he's upside down. The, that pig is upside down on the ground. Oh my god, that's sad. Wow, you found the third one. Nice work. Well, chum, you win. Oh yeah, I guess a promise is a promise. I owe you a little pocket change, don't I? All right, hold out your hand, chum. You're not going to lick it, are you? Oh, purple rupee. I suppose that's worth the, worth the price. Yeah, that pig is upside down. What the fuck? <laughs> but still, Christ, how can my little piggies lose like that? They must be out of shape for... Well, that one looks like he's dead, dude. Oh, shit. He was red. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to, like, baconize me. Whatever. Anyways, the actual... Actually, have I done that yet, either? I'm, I'm not sure if I've done this yet. Because I want to... If you take a picture of this lady here... I'm gonna feel like an idiot if I have done this already. I probably did, didn't I? Let me just check, though. Um. Wait, did I not save that pictograph when I, that I just took? Well, crap. By the way, that picture of the full moon, I got that actually before this recording session as I was doing the Nintendo Gallery stuff. Alright, let's see. Mm. Oh, yes, look at my face. How charming. Oh, I did already do that. I'm such a jackass. What the hell, man? Alright, erase that. I don't watch her ugly mug ruin in that. I probably could use that for the Nintendo Gallery, actually, next time I go, but... What you want to do is talk to this guy. You pesky little brat. Nobody understands how I feel. Do you hear me? Nobody. Not you. Not anybody. It's a wide world, man. Uh, you trying to tell me that you do understand how... Yeah, totally, dude. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> I'm not going to say I couldn't care less. I don't even know what the situation is still, but... A little test. Oh, no. Picture of the first perfectly round pale thing you can think of. And if your mind's out of the gutter like mine is most of the time, um, you'll think you're probably more likely to think of a moon than something else. Ooh, that's right. That certainly is the pictograph I'm looking for. The correct answer is exactly what you've shown me: a full moon. Unrequited love may have twisted me up inside, but I can—I oh, know the feeling, dude. Trust me, the timeless moon. That's kind of like me. How I can, uh, I can like just gaze out over ponds and lakes and stuff. Oh, a little reward for me. Cool. I mean, I knew I was gonna get this, but still. But, like, if I'm feeling sad or distraught or something, I can just gaze out over a pond or a lake. And, and, like, no matter what the weather, if it's, like, torrential downpour or completely calm and shiny on the surface. So I'll be asking this, this nice guy to help me find the treasure. Best of luck. Thank you, dude. You're awesome. But, yeah, like, regardless of whether it's, like, terribly intrusive or violent or anything. Or, like, it's just perfectly calm and still. Just looking at it over a basin of water like that. It doesn't really work with the sea here, but uh, I guess it kind of does. But it'll just calm me down like right away. It's awesome. All right, and uh, with that, I actually want to go ahead and I think we've gotten like a few treasure charts here that we have yet to open, so might as well do that. All right, that is, I believe, Ice Ring Isle. Um, not be going there for a long time actually. This one is, is that Forest Haven? Yeah, it might be. I don't know. Not totally sure about that. And here we have, um, Stone Watcher Island, maybe? I don't know. I'm not the best with some of those obscure islands, but whatever. And yes, I said obscure -er. It's, it's kind of weird to, like, pronounce that without kind of melding the last two sounds together. All right, next one is a uh, square E1, which is Crescent Moon Island. And that is just up here, so meet you there, folks.